Morgan Crystal, when it's hot, it's pliable, it's like a chocolate like mixture. Once the crystal cools, then it becomes hard and it can't be shaped. So it's important for the blower up on the platform to ensure that the motion crystal is hot enough for the next stage of the process. So he takes the molten crystal from the portable furnace. So again, that molten crystal is very, very hot. He blows into the crystal just to create a hollow again. And then just pre-shapes once more using another one of the wooden tools. Right, Look how hot that is. Like. What the blower does is he places the molten crystal down into the mold and then he blows through the iron rod and into the molten crystal and that enables the molten crystal to expand from the inside and take the shape of the mold. Blowers with their skill and their expertise they know exactly how long and how hard to blow and all our craftsmen here will have trained for eight years to become master blowers. Five years as an apprentice and a further three years then just to master the craft. Now we can see there's a bit of molten crystal outside the mold, but the molten crystal you can still see, that's what we call the cap. The purpose of the cap is just to attach that iron rod that he's blowing through to the piece of molten crystal that's inside the mold. So you'll see when this vase, when it comes out of the mold, it's going to look like it has a lid or a cap on it. That will be removed in the next stage, so we will talk about that again. Now as you can see the molten crystal is taking the shape of the mold, so it's also losing that bright orange colour, and the crystal will become completely clear once it's completely cooled down. Like we saw before then, he just uses the wooden tool just to smooth down the base because the base is the hardest part of the piece. This piece is just going to be left to cool down here for a few moments. Up on the platform, you can see the process has started again. And water is sprayed on the mold there, so that will be ready for the next year. Now at ground level, what our craftsman will do is he uses cold air and cold water just to knock that piece off the iron rod. Initially, it just sticks to the iron rod due to the heat, so this is how they'll detach it. 